G'day guys, how are you going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial because we're all in quarantine. It's the 4th of April and if you are like me and you have a Logitech webcam and you're a little bit frustrated because you can't get the control, um, the field of view, the frame rate, saturation, white balance, all that kind of stuff um, dialed in manually for your applications like Skype and GoToMeeting because we're all web conferencing or video conferencing from home now. Um, this video is going to be a guide on how to use the Logitech Capture software to dial those settings in for those applications so that way you look as good and as clear as possible when you're uh, chatting with your colleagues or friends and family, whoever it might be. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, chuck it a like, get subscribed and let's begin. Alrighty guys, so as previously mentioned, this is a start to finish guide on using the Logitech Capture software to manually control your webcam settings. So the one that I'm using that you can see on the screen at the moment is the Logitech Brio 4K, um, but this does work with some other Logitech webcams as well. Now the software, you can go ahead and download for free um, from the Logitech website. I'll leave a link to that down below. But at the bottom of the website, you can see what cameras are supported. So you've got ones like the C920, you know, 1080p uh, ProStream, C922, Brio 4K, Brio Stream. Um, so they're really the cameras that give you more than just one fixed mode. These ones give you the option of going up to 4K or 60 frames per second. Um, you can manually control things like the white balance and the field of view, things like that. Um, there is a Mac version of this application as well, so if you wanna run it on a Mac, you can do that. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing it in Windows. So we're gonna switch back to the webcam here. And once you've got the program installed, you should be seeing yourself um, with something similar to what I've got here. So as you can see the source, we've got the Logitech Brio uh, webcam. Um, we've got at the moment uh, the preset set to custom and we'll go through some of these settings and the settings that I'm using um, and what each, I guess, function does. I won't go too far into it, just enough so that way you can get a bit of a, a basic understanding of what you should be, I guess, expecting in your own experience. So. For the source, the source is obviously the camera. That's what you want your audience to be seeing. You want them to be seeing um, yourself. Um, you can go ahead and manually choose the presets for what you're doing, um, but I would recommend setting it to custom and then the priority being frame rate. You wanna appear as smooth as possible um, first, in my opinion, and then adjust all your other settings after that point. For the field of view, my webcam actually does have a 90 degree field of view. So you can see there when we click 90 degrees, it opens right up. If you're not a fan of that, or maybe the background isn't um, suitable for 90 degrees, you can change it to 78, or you can go ahead and change it to 65. Now, not every webcam is going to have the same field of view as what I have. Um, I personally like 78 for doing this kind of stuff when I'm just recording or talking in a video conference kind of environment. Um, when I'm live streaming to my fans or my community, I wouldn't say fans, but my community, I prefer the 90 degree um, field of view. But again, it just depends on your environment, your office and where you are and how you wanna appear on camera. Um, but that's the cool thing about this program is you can go ahead and fix that setting inside of the software and it stays, it doesn't change. Um, again, you know, your camera may not have HDR, but I've got HDR so I can turn that off or on. Um, this is a live preview as well as you can see. So the application is going to change so you can see what, um, you know, tweaks that you're making um, and how that looks before and after. Um, we have an option to zoom here. So if we want to zoom right in, um, you can do that. So you can play around with the zoom. If you want to sort of crop in a little bit, you can do that. Um, you can also pan it around by using the left and right arrows. Um, autofocus, I actually don't mind leaving autofocus on. Um, it's a good way to make sure that your face is always going to be the main thing in focus. And then the white balance. So now we're getting down to the area here where you can control the color the white balance, saturation, sharpness, gamma, all that kind of stuff. So if we go to the image settings here, we can see with the brightness, we can you know, boost that up if you're in a really dark room or if you're in a fairly lit room, you might actually want to turn that down a little bit. Um, personally, I like mine at about you know, 85, I'm trying to get to 83, that's close enough. And then the contrast, I actually want to go ahead and, and uh, boost that contrast. If you boost it too much, you're going to look a little bit um, insane. But, you know, again, 
change it depending on your room's conditions. If you've got a lot of natural light, then it might be better to leave it sort of um, in the middle and that way you've got a good balance. Um, but I'm gonna put the contrast at about 120 here. Um, this is your sharpness, this one with the triangle. Um, you know, sharp corners, it's the sharpness. So you can go ahead and you can see the difference. So dragging all the way down to zero makes me seem a little bit more soft. Dragging it all the way up, I seem really grainy. So you just find that happy medium. So we'll go to like, you know, one, 20 something like that um, and then this one I think is your saturation so boosting that all the way up again gonna be looking a little bit silly um, but then if you have it at zero there's no color so you've got black and white um, if you want to though you know you can maybe change it to around about 90 um, takes a little bit of color out of the face and body but that might also be a little bit more natural and a little bit more easy on the eyes as well so you know again just change the settings based on what you like and how you want to appear on camera now down the very bottom here you can see it's got anti flicker you can turn that on or off um, 50 hertz or 60 hertz you can see the camera slightly changes when i'm switching it so if you're noticing that with your lights on in the room if you've got leds or fluorescent lights and that they're flickering um, sometimes you just need to change it from 60 hertz to 50 or vice versa and turn that option on or off in order to remove that flicker there's sometimes just an issue with certain uh, cameras and the frame rate and the lights that you might have in the room it's trying to focus on your face and so it flickers in the background because um, it's having a, I guess, hard time trying to differentiate the light from yourself. So you just play around with those settings. Um, if you have a chroma key, you know, you can put a, sorry, a green screen, you can set up your chroma key um, if you wanna do that. You know, if I was to set mine as green right now um, and turn it on, nothing's gonna happen because, you know, I don't have a green screen in the background. Um, advanced settings here, whoops, we'll just turn that one back on. Um, you've got here the option to flip the source around so if you want to flip it you can do that if you want to flip it upside down you can do that as well so you've got a bunch of different controls and options here um, when we're going on the left hand side of the software down to the camera option you can see here that you've got some options so you can change it from um, landscape to portrait to square depending on what you want to do so for me i've got mine set to full hd and because my camera can support it i've got 60 frames per second set up so that way it's as smooth as possible for the people that are um, i guess viewing uh, viewing you on the stream or in the web conference or video conference or whatever it might be i always prefer smoother than anything else and so you know you'll see on your webcam what options are available to you um, so make sure you go ahead and explore those settings to find the best one for you um, video encoder this will be different computer to computer um, and then you've got an option here for things like a framing grid if you want to have a little grid on there you can do that but just remember when you have the grid turned on they will also see the grid all right, so now that you've got your webcam dialed in and you're happy with how it looks and how it appears and you're ready to start streaming or web conferencing, video conferencing, whatever it is that you're, that you're doing, um, you can switch into the application of your choice. So for this tutorial, we're gonna go into Skype. Um, with Skype, in your more options and then settings, you should get this little dialogue box that I've got currently. And where it says camera, you wanna choose Logitech Capture as your source because we're not choosing the webcam as the source, we're choosing the software, which has got all those settings dialed in as your source um, device for your video. So we've got Logitech Capture selected, not Brio. And then you can see we've got the option here um, of turning on within Skype, the option to blur the background, but we are now looking at the image preview that Logitech Capture is, I guess, rendering and then putting out. So the Skype program isn't actually taking control and, um, I guess, playing around with the things like the brightness and the white balance and the focus and everything else. The Logitech Capture is doing all of that and Skype is just going, okay, that's the source, that's what I'm gonna put out there. So that way you get better control um, when you're on those chats and it looks a lot better and you're not having to worry about whether or not the setting is going to change um, or if it's going to lose focus or change the white balance or whatever it might be. Now let me minimize this application and we'll go to GoToMeeting for example. Um, we'll right click on it and go to Preferences and similar story, we'll go to the webcam area 
And we'll see here that it'll load up eventually with Logitech Capture as our camera, and we're not gonna choose Brio. Um, same as before, we want the Capture software to be the source. Um, and then you've got the option here of you know going into um, widescreen or normal, but even if you change these around, it doesn't make any difference because the Logitech Capture software is doing all the work. So things like Skype and GoToMeeting are great. Um, if you want to, I guess, play around, you can go back to your um, Logitech Capture software. If you want to change that field of view, just go back to the source number one, um, change it to maybe 78, um, zoom out a little bit, go back to your you know, go-to meeting, preferences, webcam, minimize capture, and they will see you know, that field of view changing a little bit. So it's a really, really handy program for manually specifying and dialing all your specific settings. Now, the applications that support this particular function or support the Logitech Capture, in my experience, it does vary, unfortunately. Um, Facebook Messenger wouldn't support Logitech Capture. Um, Zoom wouldn't support Logitech Capture. It's quite annoying. I don't know why Zoom is one of the most popular um, apps for, I guess, video conferencing um, or web chat or whatever you want to call it. And for an application like Facebook or Zoom to not support the Logitech Capture application, I don't know whose fault it is. Um, so just be aware that your mileage may vary. Um, I'll put a list of applications that do work in the description as well to save you some time, hopefully. Um, if you have any issues, let me know. I'll try and help the best that I can. Maybe reach out to Logitech or maybe reach out to the, I guess, software developer of the program you're using if you're having any issues. So that's it for this video. Stay safe, everyone. If you have any questions or queries, feedback, leave it in the comment section. I'll do my best to help you guys. Um, like this video, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.